Papa, oh, hi, apple donuts. Apple donuts! <laughs> Bye, Papa. It's Anna and Elle, and welcome back to Baking with Toddlers. We're super excited, because what are we making? Donuts. Donuts, what kind? Um, apple. Apple donuts, we thought, Happy New Year, we want something fresh and crisp in our mouths, and we figured, why not something like an apple That's donut? Puppy. And Puppy wants donuts too. Let's get to making them. All right guys, we need the star of the show. Yeah. Maybe the apple. Get which one? Wee! I've got one large Fiji apple here. So then I'm going to take this apple and just use a uh, grater, cheese grater here, and we want to just grate the apple. Watch this. Whoa! I'm telling you guys, these donuts are so good. When you bite into them, you're gonna get a little bit of this apple juice, and it's heaven. All right, so apple core, toss it <laughs> in the sink. And then you have all these delicious apples. Look, Elle, look at all these apples. So if you see there's all this apple, there's juice inside the apples. We need to kind of just use our hands and take the juice out. But I'm gonna save the juice, put it in a little cup for Elle to drink. What do you think, Elle? Mm. So if you're wondering why did I keep the juice, I mean, don't you kind of want to save everything? So this is a perfect way to just get a little bit of natural. Whee! Apple juice. Go for it, Elle. Drink it. You got some juice right there. Apples. It's good, right? Yeah, awesome. So then you just want to take your apples and put them in a bowl, set them off to the side. Because now in a clean bowl, we're going to add all of our dries. So this is just all purpose flour because we're gonna be making kind of like a crust. We want fluffy donuts. So we're adding some baking powder to make it poof up. Boink. And next I have coconut sugar. I'm really big into coconut sugar. Just replace, I've been replacing regular sugar and the same amount and everything of coconut sugar and it tastes really good. Pour that in there. And then also I have salt and nutmeg. Nutmeg is just gonna give it a really good aroma. Okay, so these are all of our dry ingredients. We just wanna mix them together because the next part is what I really love is when you're making pie crust, you use cold butter. So I have about a stick of butter here. So next part is fun because we get a little messy. Now this is uh, cutting in the butter. You're just putting your cubed, cold cubed butter right inside the flour mixture. And we're gonna use our hands. I love to use our hands. Look at this. Look, Elle. So you just wanna coat the butter and then take your thumb and your pointer finger and smoosh the butter in with the flour. And this is just gonna give your donuts a real fun, fluffy um, effect. <laughs> it's starting to resemble a what? What does that look like? Platform. That's right, it looks like breadcrumbs. So now we just wanna add our wets, which is milk. You could use coconut milk, you can use almond milk. I'm just using regular whole milk today. And Elle's favorite thing, do the honors. You wanna do it? Mm -hmm. It's not your favorite thing to do anymore? You do it. No! Try it, try it, try it, try it. Okay, I'm gonna do it since my hands are already dirty. We've got one egg. Mix all that in there, and you want to add the apples in there? Go for it. And while she's adding the apples, I have a donut tray. Look how cool that is. And you just want to spray it down, and then I've got this awesome piping bag. You can use a Ziploc bag and just snip off the end so we can pipe it. Good job. Beautiful. Okay, you do the next one. Squeeze, squeeze, good job. And I'm just filling them all the way up to the top. <laughs> good job. Mmm, buddy, these are gonna be good, aren't they? 
And then if there's a little on the side, just smush it on over. Yeah, like that. So then we bake these at 375 degrees for about 14 to 15 minutes. Mm. Whoa, what is that? Pasta. We got some powdered sugar here, guys. We have let our donuts come out of the oven. They're completely cooled, and now we're going to sprinkle them with some powdered sugar. Go for it, Ellie. You lift it up, and then tap it with your hand like this. Tap. Tap, 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 tap. See, and it's coming down. Tap, tap, tap. Isn't that cool? <gasps> Whoa, here, do that one, Katie. Do it all by yourself. Gotta do it over it. <laughs> yeah, good job. See how it looks like snow? Isn't that pretty? I like to do powdered sugar. You could roll it in cinnamon and just regular sugar if you like. Um, drizzle it in some chocolate or caramel, whatever. Powdered sugar just gives it a little bit of sweetness. That looks so cute, Elle. Elle, do you have fun? Here, eat, try that one. No. Oh, you pick which one you want. You want that one? Okay, let's go for it. Mmm. 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 It's so moist inside. I recommend eating these while they're a little bit warm. The puppy wants some? Guys, get in the kitchen with your family, have a lot of fun, make a huge mess because bonding is what we're all about and I hope you are too. And we'll see you guys next time for the next Baking with Toddlers. See you later, bye bye. Bye. Bye guys, see you next bye. time. That's funny, guys. <laughs> That's funny, <why>, guys. <laughs>